We spend a third of our lives asleep. Why should this be downtime for creative yield? I experienced viral meningitis as a teenager. Back then, it was not very well known about, and that is when I had my epiphany, an amazing altered state of consciousness as I fainted in hospital for the first time. This led to my obsessive fascination with the brain. Since 2014, I have been immersed in an investigation of sleep and dreamlike states, in particular, the phenomena of lucid dreaming. This is consciousness like awareness within a dream. Recently, I have been hosting participatory lectures and workshops in lucid dreaming called Morphology for the general public. Our guests are invited to learn how to improve their well being, sleep health, and to attain lucidity through nutrients, literature, art, sounds, and through developing a critical reflective attitude. In these evening groups, I involve the hypnotic spinning dream machine to assist everyone to enter a deeper, relaxed state and perchance to dream. The dream machine was designed in the 1960s by mathematician Ian Somerville and beat poet William Burroughs in Paris. This was described as the first art object to be experienced with the eyes closed. Intrinsic to my morphology workshops are the presence of a sound healer whose role is to fill the space with clear resonating tones played on silicon crystal and Tibetan singing bowls. These are designed to stimulate the pineal gland in the brain and to improve sleep. The pineal gland is responsible for the release of the hormone melatonin deep inside the brain and it is special because its secretion is dictated by light. The light sensing ability of the pineal gland has led some to refer to it as the third eye. The philosopher René Descartes was fascinated with the pineal gland, regarding it as the principal seat of the soul and the place in which all our thoughts are formed. I have spent two decades absorbing inspiration from precedent works from the 20th century, exploring liminal spaces of mind, art and consciousness hovering between surrealistic explorations of mind, unconscious and neuroscientific modes of tracking brainwaves, I aim to create new understanding of how we think and perceive. I am inviting viewers to cross the threshold between observation and perception, to become active participants in a context of stimulated unknowing. I encourage suspension of our capacity for analysis, threading sounds and enlightening frequencies into our EEG-connected brains and inviting us all to reflect on the interplay and interpenetration of waking and dreaming states.